COVID-19 has hit our economy, politics, morals, and values in a completely unique way. It has compelled us to innovate in new and exciting ways. There have been many positive outcomes from the coronavirus. However, if there's one thing that we've learned is that we spend far too much money on nuclear warfare and weapons, and nearly not enough on healthcare. The main reason the pandemic hit us so hard is because we see other nations as being the major threat. However, we see an increase in threat from viruses and bacteria as well. The mismatch between what we spend on nuclear warfare and what we spent on the military is stark. In 2020, the year of the pandemic, the world has spent over $2 trillion on its military. That's a ridiculous and obscene amount of money. Most of these bombs sit in silos and are kept in buildings to never be used again. Did you know that the US spends more on its military budget annually than NASA spent over the past 60 years? The US spends close to $1 trillion on its military per year. Allow me to elaborate how much $1 trillion really is. So, if you counted one number per second, it would take you 12 days to reach 1 million. 32 years to reach 1 billion. In other words, if you started counting from 1989, you'd reach 1 billion today. However, it would take you a whopping 32,000 years to count to 1 trillion. Imagine if we spent $1 trillion on alleviating poverty. 30% of the people from my country are enslaved to the hands of poverty especially after 2018, when the Egyptian government decided to increase military spendings by nearly 200%, therefore resulting in their weekly elderly income to fall below $10 a week. Who knows what happened to the less fortunate families across the land of the pharaohs? I believe the pandemic was one event that really helped open the human race's eyes on what should be prioritized for our species. What the human race needs to unlearn is the ridiculous amount of money we spent on weapons and must relearn to spend that on healthcare, education, and uplifting people out of poverty. The real threat in 2020 was from a virus. How much did we spend on healthcare last year? We should have been developing hospitals and field clinics in a war footing. We should have been investing in health companies and providing mass health insurance. 2020 should have taught us that life is full of uncertainties and is highly unpredictable. Instead of spending trillions of dollars on weapons, we could have been providing health care to countries that suffered a huge number of COVID cases. Those trillion dollars could have saved our fellow human beings. However, they were used on weapons designed to kill us. We've got to be spending far more on science, technology, and space exploration. By doing so, we could help reduce pollution, fight climate change, uplift people out of poverty, and expand the human conscious across the rest of the solar system. By exploring space, we could be closer than ever to stepping on Mars and sending human life there. Potentially, find other life beyond Earth due to, our due to an increase in exponential technology. There are millions of young entrepreneurs with big dreams and incredible solutions to some of the global grand challenges. Let us support these thinkers and invest in their ideas. I, myself an entrepreneur, would love to invest in areas such as medicine, space exploration, and nanotechnology. Overall, I believe by spending less on the military would mean far greater progress in areas such as medicine, as well as technology. Let us invest in these areas of human endeavor, rather than on bombs and fighter jets. Instead of an arms race, the world superpowers should invite in an innovation race and compete to make the world a healthier and happier place for the rest of mankind.